Okay, we have come to the last part of the demonstration. Uh, up to now we've known the receiver and the sender, and we've defined mapping rules to define how messages from the HL7 stream go directly into our database, and we saved this file. And now it's time to test it using our runtime. The HL7 runtime application is controlled using the configuration uh, control panel. Uh, this is actually the component that you deploy to your together with your system that will uh, implement the rules that we've defined. So this is a control panel and the first thing that I do is check the connection. You see here it's configured on the same database. I'm going to check the connection. The connection is valid. I'm going to select the mapping rule and select the same mapping rule that we have saved, saved from the mapping application and I'm going to save it and I'm going to tell the, the service to listen on the same port 8889 and after saving I'm going to start the service you can see that the service is running in the Windows Services Manager. It's called HL7 Runtime Service. Here you can see it. And it started. If I stop it here, it will stop. See that it stopped. And let's start it again. Okay. You can also monitor the runtime from the event manager, the Windows log system. Here it is. You can see here that the service has started on port 8889. This is very convenient, especially on Windows Server 2008 and Windows 7 because you can configure all kind of alerts using the event manager for example to get messages or SMS's or emails when something goes wrong and we'll see this later so I'm gonna close it and now let's go and go to our example project again open the ADT message I can minimize this because it's listening open the sender take the ADT message and send it again I check that the port is the same and send it and I got an error. Mapping is not defined for message ADT A01. Let's see why is that. We have here ADT A01. Let's see here. What file am I using? Yeah, I'm not using the right file. should be this one. I'm going to save it, stop the service, start it again, and run the test once more. And this time I got an acknowledge HL7 facility from HL7 kit from other software services. That's great. And let's check our database and see if the data is there. Connect. Here is our database, and I'll open messages. I see records here. I see records here. Let's do the test once more. This time, I'm going to change John to Gene. 
just to verify. I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna send it, got an acknowledge. Let's go to patients. And I have Gene here. That's very, very cool. And here you can see we invested about 20 minutes, not more than that, and we did the full cycle. So next thing would be to send messages and that will do the next video.